Hey family, welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So before we go ahead and get started with this crazy video, um, don't forget to check out my online courses. I have three of them. Let me just go ahead and briefly tell you guys, especially if this is your first time finding one of my videos, the first online course is for my super single people. You are not in the dating stages or you are thinking about returning to the dating stages and you need some clarification about what you want, what you need, what you desire. That super single course is going to help you put on the path, put yourself on the path to hone in exactly what you need. And then work on yourself first before you jump into the dating stages. However, this course is also for people that are in the dating stages or already in the relationship because most of us haven't worked on ourselves. And if you haven't worked on yourselves, then you're, you will be wondering why and noticing that you're going through um, more tumultuous situations than you should be. If you work on yourself first, then you will be able to notice the better things or the ways to conduct it conduct yourself in a much better way by working on yourself first. The second course is for any of you guys who are in the dating stages. This course is absolutely going to help you navigate through the dating stages. It's absolutely going to help you to just recognize some of the things that you want and do not want that you need and do not need in your relationships so you don't waste un necessary time with the guy who is putting you off or maybe dangling something in front of you in the hopes of that relationship in the hopes of moving to the next stage it's going to help you recognize the bs if i could just be so blunt it's going to help you recognize the bs and help you to move on that much faster finally the third course is for any of you guys who are actually in a relationship a long-term relationship or a marriage and this is going to help you bring some spice give you some new ideas to bring into your relationship that so you can incorporate these things in there and notice a difference in your relationship to bring all of the happiness and everything back all right so after this we're gonna go ahead and jump in All right, y'all. So I was on Facebook and I was scrolling through my news feed and I came upon some at least craziness to me. So I'm sure as you noticed by the title, the girl wants nine. She wants a nine thousand dollar engagement ring. So um, I'll just read it to you. The post. It says a woman wants a nine thousand dollar engagement ring or she is not getting married. He saved half so far. She told him to get a second job to afford it. What should he do? Now, this person, whoever posted this, said that this was a question from a radio show that he actually heard, he or she, um, the pictures of a guy. So anyway, this was a question from um, the radio show that he heard. And then here are the four choices. That he should get a second job. That she should pay for half of it. The third one is that he should run from this engagement. And then the fourth one is he should finance it. Now, I have to say that two of the four are in the question, which is to get a second job or to finance it. And here's what I have to say. Most people that I went through the post said that he should run away from this girl. And I do have to partially agree. Here's why. He just, okay, so... If she is a demanding person, and this is something that is adding to one of her demands in the relationship, he is going to be miserable this entire relationship because he's never going to feel like he's good enough. Also, most of the time when I see posts like this, and most of the time they're posts from ordinary people and I hate to put us in that box right so we're not the rich and famous people right who could pretty much throw, uh, drop nine thousand dollars on frivolous whatever so if you are part of the common regular people and you are spending this unnecessary amount of money on a ring you just as crazy as her now what I will say is that if he saved up half, which means $4,500, he already saved up half. She can get a gorgeous ring for $4,500. But she is just taking this to the extreme, in my opinion. And he is crazy to even be thinking about it. 
Now, obviously, he had to think about it before, which is why he already saved up to $4,500. Maybe something is going on in their lives. Why he called into the radio station, maybe he can no longer afford to get the $9,000 engagement ring that he promised his girl, his, his uh, future fiance, his future wife, because something came up in life. Now, if this is a case, the case, I have a problem with the fiance not understanding. She's telling him that he needs to get a second job or to finance it, whether on a credit card or going out to one of those um, loan places that are, that is just absolutely going to keep him in the hole, which I think is just ridiculous. I do, I, I do. I think that all of this is ridiculous. I also feel that most people fantasize and stay in the fantasy of the relationship, i.e. marriage, by the buildup, the getting into the whole marriage, the dress, the how many bridesmaids, how many grooms, how, um, what type of dance y'all going to do, the first dance, the whole venue, everybody is stuck there. And I'm not, when I say everybody, obviously I don't mean everybody, right? So don't come for me on that. I know it's not everybody, but I do hear a large percentage of women specifically how they want to have all of this extravagant things going on in their wedding, but they really never even took the time to learn the person that they're getting married to. They never took the time to ask a million and one questions again to get to know them they don't even know the expectations that they want in the relationship nor their partner they just want to get married they want the shininess on their finger so they can show everybody that they are in a relationship but when they get home they lonely they miserable they hate to see their spouse they only like the change that the person is bringing in and then they wonder why in less than five years they are getting a divorce or maybe they're thinking about staying because of the lifestyle that they are living they won't be able to do it by themselves or they just don't want to do it by themselves even though they really are doing it by themselves i have to say now on the flip side of that let me let me go on the flip side of that if this is her only wild request could he go finance it he could. Could he go get a second job just for this one crazy, outrageous request? He could. But from what I'm gathering from this, and this is just only from the post, she's a demanding person. Very, very high maintenance. And he is going to be miserable. Also, if he does, like one of the choices was, she should pay, uh, help pay half. If he allows her to pay half, he will never, ever, ever hear the end of how she had to help him get her ring. He's kind of in a losing situation. Again, he's only not in a losing situation if this is her only one wild request. And then, yeah, he, well, however it is that he can scrape up the money, whether it is a second job or financing it. Okay, you know, there are some sacrifices that he can make to satisfy his woman if this is her only one wild request. But it probably is not. And if it is not, he is setting himself up for a downfall for sure. He's always going to have to keep that second job. Because see, right now he's only looking at, okay, I'm going to get this second job or finance it just for this right now. And then I'm going to be done with that. I'm going to quit that job or figure out a way to finance it. But if this is her ordinary, normal thing, he's not realizing how he's going to probably have to keep that second job in order to keep his boo happy because she is super high maintenance. And he's going to be miserable. And feeling less than. He might even start cheating on her. Or she might start cheating on him. Or whatever it is. It's going to be a whirlwind of mess. Throughout this entire relationship. But I'm curious to see what you guys have to say. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Have you even seen the post? I am definitely curious. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Of course, if you like this video, go ahead and give me thumbs up. And I am actually going to make a playlist of these Facebook videos, um, Facebook um, posts. That's what they are. They're Facebook posts that I find because <laughs> some of you have probably seen these things. Some of you probably have not. But the point is... Um, I feel that it is important for me to showcase where I'm actually getting these 
from. So in the near future, I will definitely make a playlist about all of the videos that I've received from um, Facebook. And I think I have like four or five right now. And I'm sure that I'll get some more and then add to it. But anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. Definitely go ahead and subscribe if this is your very first time here. Because I have playlists out of the wazoo. I have over 270 videos on my channel now. I'm getting close to 300. And um, if you too want to let me hear or write into me, I should say, write into me and let me um, be a part of your relationship and helping you solve something. Then go ahead and write in. I will definitely read it on here and give you my advice. So definitely stay tuned for the next one. Deuces.